So let's continue solving this uh, paper one mathematics from the 2019 and we've solved so far up to one to up to 10 questions I think we've tackled up to 10 questions and we are on question number 11 and our goal is to go through this paper as quickly as we can so that we uh, answer as much questions and just give you an idea of the uh, paper one uh, how to answer some questions in paper one and just re revision techniques and, uh, and tricks you can use when in the you are in the examination and you are answering paper one question so just a reminder that paper one you don't uh, you're not allowed to come with the calculator so you should be comfortable with uh, mental calculation you just calculate from your head and uh, you should be able to uh, work uh, against time or race with time. You'll need to make sure that as you're solving the questions, you be mindful of the time as well. Uh, you need to, you don't want to uh, solve uh, probably just a handful of questions and then it's time up. So even as you're solving the correct uh, correct things, you're working on the, uh, you're using the correct approach, you need to use the, uh, to work the time. So now let's get started on solving these questions and uh, we'll use this paper to uh, revise the, the topics because we don't we necessarily we can't go through all the the topics at once so we can just go through all the papers at once so we can just go through one paper which will uh, enable us to revise uh, several topics because basically in the exam uh, they do just bring these same topics uh, topics are repeated like each paper definitely will 90 or 80 percent of the topics which were two or three years before or a year before being brought back so that out of the way let's just get started with uh, solving question number 11 that we have here so question number 11 was coming from earth geometry the diagram below shows the positions of towns a b and c on earth's surface so question a said if it is zero 20 at a i believe that's 20 hours at a what time is it at c uh, a plane flies from a to b at a speed of 100 knots how long does the journey take if a b is 400 4800 nanometers so we can see um we have the earth here this is earth geometry and uh, when it comes to earth geometry you have to know uh, the location how to locate the point on the earth and how to um, to tell to 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 find uh, time um, time difference when it comes to two points on the earth and how to find the shortest distance and such things so the other things which are put into uh, which you, you should know when it comes to earth geometry and we definitely can go into all those because of time so we just answer the ones which are here and uh, that's the ones we revise on so if it is a 20 at a what time is it at c okay so when it comes to time with f geometry time we have the notion which says that uh, the theory that uh, 15 degrees is equivalent to one hour of time and four degrees is equivalent to in the one degree not not uh not four but one degree is equivalent to four minutes so that is on the uh, time when it comes to uh, to earth geometry and then uh, time is measured uh, uh, time is based on the difference in longitudes with uh, a particular point on the earth but of a particular point on the earth with the Greenwich meridian so points which are on the Greenwich uh, meridian have got the same time and the points which are away from the Greenwich uh, meridian have got a difference in longitude uh, with the Greenwich meridian so the Greenwich meridian is uh, the Greenwich meridian is uh, a great circle uh, probably if we can uh, 
draw it here you could probably say something like that and uh, when we move to the east of the greenwich meridian we supposed to add uh the time the the, the equivalent of uh, the, the equivalent time of the difference in longitude to the local time at the particular point so what i mean is if you this is a greenwich meridian points which are on the greenwich meridian have got the same time if it's 10 a.m here that means any point which is on the greenwich meridian is 10 a.m if you move away from the greenwich meridian like the way a is here that means there's a difference between the greenwich meridian how do we know the difference we know the difference by looking at uh the the, the measuring the difference in longitude and longitude that is just from this we look at this longitude here and this one and see uh what's the difference the greenwich meridian and this longitude what's the difference if we are 15 degrees 15 degrees to the east that means we should add one hour to the local time if we are 15 degrees west of the greenwich uh, meridian that means we subtract one hour from the local time hope you are with me here so 15 degrees east of the meridian you add one hour 15 degrees west of the meridian you subtract one hour from the local time and that is how we measure time so when we look at this question we are looking at a point a what time is it at c so when you look at the point of uh, point a we have is 8 20 and what time is it at at point c in point c we have this point right here so getting ahead to solving our problem here or our question let us look at the point a first of all before we can uh solve so i'm going to get rid of uh so let us try to locate point a so looking at our point a which has got a location when looking at the location of the point we look at uh the latitude and the longitude okay. so what is the latitude of point a point a is a 60 so latitudes are lines uh which run from uh west to east so like this this direction so we've got 60 degrees north uh 60 degrees north so it's 60 degrees north and then it is this is 20 degrees east 20 degrees east and then we have b point let's look at point c we have point c actually point c point c is at 20 degrees uh 20 degrees south 20 degrees south and it is at 95 degrees east 95 degrees east so what you do is you don't pay so much attention when it comes to latitude because when it comes to time we deal with uh it is based on the difference in uh longitude so we don't pay attention to the uh, latitude at the moment so we're just going to do the difference in longitude so what's the difference when we have uh points on the same uh side of the meridian we have to subtract 20 degrees east 95 degrees east we find the difference in longitude so the difference in longitude will be 95 subtracting 20 so which gives us 75 degrees so this is the difference in longitude that is 75 degrees is the difference in longitude now if 75 degrees is a difference in longitude how do we convert this to time because that will be the difference in time okay so the difference in longitude is a difference in time uh, and how we find a difference in longitude uh, we just subtracted this is point c is on 95 as you can see here 
point C is on 95 degrees east and point A is on 20 degrees east. So the difference, since they are on the same side of the meridian, we subtract. If they were on the opposite sides, we would add, meaning if maybe the this was east, this was east, this was west. And since they are on the same side, we subtract. So we found the difference to be 75 degrees and we convert this to time by dividing by 15. So you divide uh, 75 degrees divided by 15 degrees. Now why are we dividing? Because we already said here that 15 degrees gives us one hour. So we need to convert this into hours. So when we divide 75 by 15, we get 5. So we get 5. So 5 what? 5 hours. So 5 hours of difference. So if it is 8.20 at time A, which is here, then at time C, since there's a difference of 5 hours, at time C, it will be 8.20 plus 5 hours, which will be, help me out here, 13.20, right? 13.20 p.m. Oh, we just said 13.20. 1320 hours 1320 hours so that's the time I see okay so that is how you answer questions on time when it comes to the uh, when it comes to earth geometry so again I'm going to uh, say this once more that 15 degrees is cost to one hour so that your target is just to find the difference in longitude subtract uh, the find the difference of course it means subtracting then when you do that you divide the uh your result by 15 to convert that to hours if you have got something left like maybe four degrees or maybe seven degrees you can convert that to minutes by multiplying that seven degrees by four minutes okay then you add it to the hours and that's how you do it so this you can only find the difference like this when the difference in longitude when they are on the same side that is when you can subtract when they are on opposite sides you add of the greenwich meridian like one is on the west one is on the east that means you have to add all right so let's go ahead and do part uh part at a we say a plane flies from town from a to b at a speed of 400 knots how long does the journey take if a b is 4,800 nanometers. So the distance along the globe is measured in nanometers. So this is the distance. So if we were to collect data from this question, we would say, okay, so from A, point A to point B, the distance is, the so distance, distance is equal to 4,800 nanometers. 4,800 nanometers and then we find out what is uh, the speed so the speed is measured in uh, knots so we have 400 knots which is like uh, nanometers per hour so 400 knots and then um, how long does the journey take if AB is 4,800 which is which is of course which is a distance so when it comes to uh, problems involving speed distance and time you just have to remember the formula that speed now speed is equal to distance distance divided by what divided by time and then speed is also distance divided divide that by time and then we say okay since speed is equal to what is the distance covered? So from A to B, they are telling you that the distance covered is 4,800. So you just say 4,800, 4,800. And then you have to, okay, that is 4,800 here. And then you have to divide this by the time taken, the time taken. So we, Currently, we do not have the time because that is what we were trying to figure out how long the journey will take. But what we do currently have, what we do currently have is the uh, speed. So if we were to substitute here, we say the speed, we will remove this one and then we put speed to be at 
400 knots is equal to 4,800 over T. That means from here we can use uh, algebraic expression. We kind of uh, cross multiply here. So which means from here we'll have, we'll bring it uh, on this side. So we'll be 400 T is equal to 4,800. And then we divide by 400. We divide both sides by 400. This is just basic algebra. And then we find the time to be, uh, when we divide 400 into 4,800, we cancel the zeros. We have 48, 4 into 48 is 1, 2, which is 12. So we have 12 hours. So the time is 12 hours. So what we are going to put down here, our answers for one the time difference is at c is 20 hours because the time difference is time difference is um uh, five hours five hours and then the time at uh the time at uh the journey takes 12 12 hours the journey takes 12 hours so what's the big takeaway from solving this question so the big takeaway from solving this uh, this question this particular question is that you need to uh, when it comes to time on uh, earth geometry 15 degrees means one hour is equivalent to one hour one degree means four minutes so when it comes to measuring time again the time is based on difference in longitude Time is based on difference in longitude. That is, we measure the longitude of the difference uh, from the Greenwich Meridian, which is, uh, so points which are on the Greenwich Meridian have got the same time. Points which are on the Greenwich Meridian have got the same time. And as you go to the east of the Greenwich Meridian, each 15 degrees, 15 degrees to the east means you add one hour to that local point if it's 15 degrees to the east you add one hour if it's 30 degrees to the east you add two hours each 15 degrees to the west of the greenwich meridian you subtract 15 degrees at the local time and if you want to find the difference uh the the time between two points you need to find the difference in longitude that is uh if they are on the east east of the, of the greenwich meridian you have to subtract to find the difference in longitude. If they are both on different sides of the Greenwich Meridian, maybe it's west and east, then that means you have to add. For example, I'll give you, if this was uh, 15 degrees west and this is 15 degrees, uh, 15 degrees east, that means you have to add. The difference becomes 30 degrees east. But if it is like what we have here, 95 east and 20 east we can't add they are on the same side of greenwich meridian so we subtract so that is big takeaway and the second big takeaway is that when you're finding speed uh the speed in time on this question speed is measured in knots and uh, distance is nanometers so we just basically use the same grade 8 formula speed is equals to distance divided by time and you find that sometimes they ask you to find the speed or they ask you to find the time to find the time so you use this formula just replace speed substitute speed distance whatever they've given you so basically you can jump to